Welcome to Thessaloniki. 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 Second biggest uh, city, and we are just on the on the top of the Aegean Sea, which is that way. Alrighty. And we are at the harbour front, where there are a lot of uh, restaurants and bars, bars and cafes, hotels, and behind us. There is the port, port of Thessaloniki. And we want to explore more of Thessaloniki, so yeah. now we want to find some of these. On our way in yesterday, we saw um, a couple of um, places where, where we could rent those um, electrical runners. Yeah. So Fast and dangerous. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some. Okay, okay. <laughs> I see a QR code. Let's try that one. All right. This is a little disappointing. So you're supposedly just going to uh, download this uh, Rise app for these uh, electrical uh, scooters. And then you uh, just scan the QR code and add your credit card. But it doesn't accept Visa or Mastercard. Guess we gotta go and walk back to the White Tower. Awesome. Oh joy! <laughs> Super annoying. And I'm in such a good mood today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Try this one more time. I think it works. All right, so now I have two minutes to inspect the scooter and say, let's go, or I have a problem. So I'm just gonna check how much power is on. There's like three and a half. Looks okay. Let's go. So the reason, the reason why we couldn't uh, activate it first was actually because there is a security or safety measure on, um, on one of the cards which prohibits uh, the use for, for example, an app to charge it. So we have to send a code to the bank and then it opens up the card for, uh, for an hour and then it works. quite fun <laughs> that is it's Alexander, Alexander. The, the great yeah that's a pretty cool uh, equestrian statue he's very important for Greece isn't he and Macedonia and, and Macedonia I, yeah actually it's time for a little bit of uh, history <laughs> because Thessaloniki was the capital in the region that was originally known as Macedonia the, the airport here in Thessaloniki is also called uh, Thessaloniki Macedonia Airport or something like that. Mm -hmm. Down to Constantinople and Istanbul and onwards towards Asia. And of course everyone knows Alexander the Great. This is a, a victory, a triumph arch. It was uh, constructed in the third century AD um, by Camara or Galerius um, over as a, as a symbol for the victory over the Persians. And there's some pretty cool reliefs with depictions of sacrifices made for this uh, triumph. <sighs> I have to say, these are so much fun! It's the <laughs> coolest idea you got there, babe. We get around quickly, there's plenty of room. 
and there's also some cool stuff to see. But these are just so much fun! I think it's only called the Rotonda. Alright. Yeah, we have to buy some tickets to get in there. Oh. Yeah. Well, we can't really leave these. No. Nope. But it is pretty also from the outside. So that was the archway and the rotunda and I think we have found a way to the Agia Sophia of Thessaloniki Cathedral. Should be up here somewhere. All right. Okay, the downside of having these is that we can't really explore the sites inside, so we can't, uh, we can't go inside the churches. We would have to check out and they might be gone when we came out. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the electrical scooters <laughs> suddenly stopped working. <laughs> And that was because the ride is over. <laughs> and like any uh, fun thing, um, the most fun things in life are also uh, sometimes the most expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Guess how much we paid for two electrical scooters for one hour? You can, you can type it down in the, the comment. Ready? 32 euros. So expensive! But they didn't say anything when you... It said something, you know, <laughs> but... <laughs> but the good thing is, now that we've left the, these electrical scooters here... Very expensive. Very expensive, <laughs> don't charge them. We can go into Akia Sophia. This is the St. Gregory Palamas. It houses the relics of St. Gregory, a former Archbishop of Thessaloniki. Aristoteles Square here in Thessaloniki, which is a big open square, lots of space and air, surrounded by cafes, there's a couple of hotels, and after Thessaloniki was hit by a big, big fire in 1917, uh, much of the city was, uh, was replanned and a lot of these long lines with alleys and really big streets was uh, was planned and the square was one of them it's a little bit windy so i hope you can hear me you can see to the ocean and you can see all the way up to the top of the this small neighborhood uh, it's filled with uh, restaurants and bars and had these very nice 
somewhat Parisian inspired um, facades on the houses with small balconies and nice colors and yeah. Mm -hmm.